Hello folks, thanks for checking in and thanks for subscribing. You're probably wondering if there's any kind of method to my madness. And yes, there actually is. So in this video, I'm just going to be giving you a list of all the stuff that I'm actually learning by doing all of these illustrations. But it comes from really actually looking at your work critically. One of the things that you can't do if you want to improve as an artist is lie to yourself. So sometimes it's just necessary to really critically look at your work, especially because most likely the older you get, the less likely it is that other people are going to tell you that you suck at something. I know that you can't teach old dogs new tricks, but still I'm hoping that I can learn from my mistakes and hopefully improve what I'm doing. I'm also hoping to save you the time so that you don't have to spend 20 years before you start noticing problems with your artwork. Life gets busy and we don't always have time to do practice, so that's partly why I'm doing all of these exercises on the regular. I'm trying to get myself into the habit of just drawing as much as I possibly can. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the daily basis, every second day is also fine. But where is it all going, you're probably asking. Well, I'm trying to identify all of those things that are issues for me in terms of becoming a better illustrator. One of the things that I normally don't do is use reference. And that's a huge failing because reference is super important in terms of improving your artwork. What we see in our heads is only our perception of what something should be. It doesn't mean that that is the reality of the thing. So by getting into the habit of doing reference, I'm hoping that that will improve my drawings on those occasions where I have to do more imaginative pieces of artwork. The way that it works is if you're constantly using reference to look at things, it kind of solidifies what that thing actually is and how light or how shadow or how color would work with that thing in an environment. So what you're training your mind is the ability to imagine that in a more realistic way when you're doing more fantastical artwork. So use reference. I'm focusing mostly on heads as well because that is one of the areas that I have identified where I tend to struggle. It's become clear to me now though that it's not necessary that I don't know how to draw or that I don't know how to use brushes. Because this thing with brushes and systems and techniques, those are all things that you can learn. What you want to do is you want to improve your actual skills of observation. Learning brushes, learning techniques, learning systems, all of these things are things that you should do because it will help you to speed up your workflow. But it's not necessarily going to make you a more skillful artist if you keep on ignoring the mistakes that you're constantly making. So the method to the madness, if you want to call it that, is if you do these things but you observe yourself as you are doing it, hopefully you'll be also able to identify some of your issues. Now there are more issues than that, obviously, for me in terms of how I draw. I do tend to struggle to get the volume correct on things, but I think that is also related to the way that I'm looking at things. And then I've noticed this thing which probably you picked up before I did, and that is I tend to skew things. If you don't believe me, look at any of my illustrations. And this is one that I can't actually solve. I can't figure out what I'm doing. Um, but it probably means that I need to do more. Okay, so when I say I'm skewing things, I seem to be twisting the object that I'm looking at and I'm putting it at a slight angle, which means that the symmetry between the left and the right side of an object that I'm drawing is always off. And it's something that I only notice after the illustration is done, like looking at it the next day. Now that's obviously not too useful, you really want to pick that up as you're going along. Now all of these quick drawings, none of them are intended to be finished illustrations at all, but ultimately I do need these to be decent though, right? Don't we all need that? Okay, so last little bit of rambling that I noticed that I've got a problem with is my use of color. So use of color is super important because it tells us so much about that object. So color, lighting, shading, that kind of stuff is super important and if you're struggling with that, the only way that you're going to improve is to brute force it. I really do believe that is the only way. You do actually have to sit there and just draw lots and lots of stuff. So ultimately where I'm going with this stuff is I will be using what I learn with these exercises in more fantastical illustrations. So you won't have to put up with the boredom for of me just drawing objects. I've got a huge interest in pop culture things and there's a ton of pop culture characters that I would like to draw. So that's where I'm heading with all of this stuff eventually. Getting better at anything takes time and effort. There's just no avoiding that. So just trust the process, stick to it and you will improve. I don't know, is any of this stuff even useful for you? Even just as a sleeping aid? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, thanks for being here. I'll catch you in the next one.